We're good. Okay, today, guys, we're going to talk about the exposure triangle. How many of you heard of this term before? Raise your hand. Okay. What is it? Keely, what is the exposure triangle? It's the triangle where it shows like ISO and um, uh, aperture and shutter speed. Very good. So there are three elements in this exposure <coughs> triangle. Okay. So this is what the exposure triangle looks like. Just like what Keeley said, you've got the ISO, okay, and then she said you've got the shutter speed, and then you have the aperture. So the first thing we will learn is the aperture. Okay, how many of you have heard of that word before? Okay, who would like to define it? Michelle. Pretty much. Uh, it determines how much light is exposed. There you go. So how much light, or the amount of light that's let into the camera. So when we use this mode in our camera, what kind of photo do we get? Carla? A depth of field. Depth of field. Very good. So we can just put here, depth of field. What is, what is depth of field, though? Keely? When the subject is clear and the background is like blurry. Very good. So the subject is clear and the background is blurry. So you guys have already had the opportunity to take some of these photos, but throughout this semester, you're going to continue to use this technique, um, whether it's, you know, 10 tips for taking great photos, diagonal photos, you know, every type of uh, assignment that we do in here, you'll always have the opportunity to use these past techniques that you've learned. Okay, like depth of field and aperture. Okay, now um, as far as aperture is concerned, how, how is it measured on our cameras? What is it called? Is there anybody else other than these people? That's <laughs> yes, f-stop, very good. So the f-stop is equivalent to the aperture. Okay, so what is what is an example of an f-stop? It's the same people all all, all the time. Okay, Carla, what is it? Like what's an example? Like